Welcome to Ambrose Top 5 Quick Tips for Landscaping and today's subject is picking the right mower for your company. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this video, we're going to give you five tips on helping you choose the right mower for your company. What happens a lot of the times is that guys actually either purchase too big of mowers or they purchase the wrong mowers and it actually ends up costing them in the long run. So tip number one is commercial mowers versus residential mowers. Now the reason why this one is on the list because there are some landscapers that choose to buy residential mowers rather than the commercial mowers for their landscaping company. Now when starting out, I'm not saying that you do have to purchase a commercial mower, but what happens is some landscapers choose to buy these cheap residential mowers because they think it's saving them money in the long run. But what's happening is that it's actually costing a lot more. So one of the things about the residential mowers is that they are not capable of handling the kind of stuff that the commercial mowers are actually built for. With the kind of work that we do, you can't be using a small residential mower, especially if you're a large company. When starting out, it is okay to buy residential equipment. But once you start getting bigger, I do recommend that you start buying commercial equipment because the last thing you need is your equipment to start breaking and going out on you. All right, so tip number two is deciding the size of deck you should buy. The reason why deck size is so important is because it limits you on what jobs you can take on. Now there's many varieties of deck sizes that you can get for lawnmowers, anywhere from 21 inch, even up to 105 inches. So here's some things to keep in mind when choosing the right deck for your mower. Now if you're doing a lot of small residential yards, to get into their backyard, they usually have a tight gate to where a large mower won't fit. So I believe that anything under 48 inches of a deck works perfectly for this. Now of course, if you're doing large open fields, anything from a 54 to a 60 or above is perfect for that also. So of course, when choosing a push mower size, 21 inch is always the best option to go with. If you guys have any questions about which deck size to choose for your company, be sure to leave them in the comments below and we will get them in the next video. So let's move on to tip number three, which is choosing the right brand. Now one of the tips on choosing the right brand for your mower is what does your local dealer sell? Now if a part breaks down on your mower, you want to be able to fix it as fast as possible. So another way of picking the right brand is ask other landscapers what they use in their company, what works best for them. Now like I said, every landscaper is different, it has their different opinions, so you want to make sure you get the right ones. But the best decision to make is what works best for you and your company. Also do some research on your mowers and look at reviews. Now remember, just like picking the right deck size, picking the right brand for your company is also very crucial. Now tip number four is choosing between a stand on, a walk behind, and a zero turn. And each one has their pros and cons. For instance, one of the pros on having a stand on mower is that you have a better view of what's around you. And one of the pros about having a zero turn is that you have better comfort compared to the other ones. So here's a couple ideas to think about when choosing one of these mowers. One of the things to think about is what kind of yards are you mowing? First one is, are you doing large open fields? The reason why is since you don't need a really a view of what's around you since it's mostly a big open field, you want to be able to get as much comfort as possible. So we would have to give this one to a zero turn. But if you're doing small, tight residential yards or even small commercial accounts, maybe the stand on and the walk behind are probably what's perfect for you. Now another pro in having a zero turn mower is that they actually do come with bagging systems. Now there are some stand on mowers and some walk behind mowers that do have bagging systems, but the zero turn is more well known for them. So if you're doing a lot of leave removal or if you're bagging a lot, the zero turn is probably the best option for you. So let's go ahead and move to our last and final tip, which is tip number five. And that of course is price. Now price is probably one of the biggest factors that come into purchasing a mower. The reason why is because you can buy a lawnmower worth anywhere from $100 to over $10,000. Of course, the last thing you want to do is purchase an expensive mower that you do not have the accounts to pay for it. Sometimes it is worth getting a little bit more expensive mower that's going to last you a long time, but it really all depends on where you plan on going with your business. Thank you so much guys for tuning into Ambrose's top five quick tips for landscaping on picking the right mower. And I hope that we covered every subject. And if you do have any questions on any of the tips that we discussed in this video, be sure to leave them in the comments on our Q&A Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Ambrose's top five quick tips.